Rob Ikes answers a Rob's Rezzo Room member question about applying banjo endings to the dobro. Okay, had a great question about banjo endings on the dobro. How do we uh, how do we do that? Luckily, the instrument is tuned very similar to a banjo. I've studied banjo players almost as much as I've studied dobro players. I think there's a lot of crossover, a lot of stuff we can steal from banjo players. Spend a lot of time with Earl Scruggs. He was such a genius, such an important guy in American music, bluegrass, and you know, lots of different music styles. We can learn a lot by studying the music of Earl Scruggs. I've got several examples of some great banjo endings that fit really well on the dobro, so let's take a closer look at that right now. So the first banjo ending that comes to mind is, um, let me just play it for you. <laughs> It's real common. I think Earl Scruggs did it first, but everybody does it now. It's a good one. It works great on the dobro. It just starts on the first string, fifth fret. And this is in the key of G, or if you were capoed up, it'd be in whatever key you want. Um, starts at the first string, fifth fret. And then kind of a downward slide pull off, first string, second fret. And then the same thing, kind of a downward slide into a pull off on the third string, starting at the third fret. And then the next note is the fourth string, second fret. And then we end with a pinch, what I would call a pinch, because you're um, grabbing the first and the third strings together. So I try to keep the fingering simple with this, middle finger, first string. Index, fin index finger, third string, fourth thumb on the fourth string, and then a pinch with the first index finger and the middle finger. That is a classic. That's probably the most common banjo ending I can think of, and like I said, it works great on the dobro. You'll find banjo endings and a whole lot more dobro instruction in Rob's Rezzo Room at BigMusicTent.com.